Hey, it's Annie. Again, excuse the lawnmower sound in the background. I'm filming this all in the same day, but I promise you the tutorial, you're not gonna hear any of it. Um, today, we are gonna talk about under eye concealing. I shared this video many months ago, and so many of you said that it was hard to see, so I reshot it and I, I wanted to show you close-ups. It's not all about the product necessarily, but it is about the technique. So I'm gonna show you how I apply my under eye concealer and how I, I apply it so I don't get crepey eyes. So before we get started, make sure you click that button below, hit the subscribe button. I share new videos every single week and also click on that notification bell so you are notified when I share a new video. Otherwise, you may get lost in the crowd. Always leave a comment. It helps my channel grow and also helps you keep me in your little role there with your YouTube uh, channels that you follow because otherwise YouTube will unsubscribe you from my channel. So are you ready to get started? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm gonna get really, really close so you can see close up, but I'm gonna show you what not to do when you're applying concealer. Now, some people can, even in the mature community, they can use different concealers. I cannot. You don't have to use a concealer that I'm gonna use, um, but I'm just gonna show you a couple other options and you're gonna see why I don't use them. This one is Tarte Shape Tape. And another one, I'm gonna do it on both eyes. I'll do one on each eye. Um, and I'm also gonna get the Kat Von D Locket. This one, if you want to use as a highlighter, which I really don't do that anymore, but if you wanted to use a little bit of this as a highlighter right here, just to brighten up your under, under eyes, but not put it under your eyes, I think this is good if you want to use this one to conceal, and you could also conceal, you know, scars or whatever, although this color is way too light. You don't want to put something light where you want to hide something. Um, and the locket is the one that I use on my scar. I don't like to use this under my eyes because again, it's just too drying under my eyes. So I'm going to do these first. I'm just going to show you a couple, th a couple things. I'm going to do it the way I see a lot of people do it. So I'm just going to put it all under my eye and I'm not, you know, I'm just doing one little swipe here. Now, some people can go down and do the little triangle thing. I'm not even going to do that. And now I'm going to take my blender and I'm going to blend it out like this. I have to look closely so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. It already looks wonderful. And now, and you can, I don't know if you can see, can you see my wrinkles already? Now I'm going to take some powder and make it look even better. Let's see, is this my powder? Yeah. This is a really, really light powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. I love this powder, but as light as this is, it doesn't even work under my eyes. So now I'm going to take some of this, put it on my beauty blender, and now I'm just going to tap it on there like that because we want to set that. And let me set it, let me just tap in a little bit more, blend it out. And I'm going to let you look at my eye. Can you see that? I can hear the pool water turn on. It's so weird. I can, if you hear bubbling, it's my pool. So that's what that looks like. And now we're going to use the, the Tarte Shape Tape and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same. This is what I see people do. They put it all under their eye like that. Just one little swipe. And then they take it and they blend it out. Like this. So you can see how this is a better highlight color. Super. Okay, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. So after I blend it, now I'm going to take some powder and set it. Put it right under there. I want to smile because as I talk, I'm going to be doing that. So I want you to see both of my eyes. I mean, I want you to really see both my eyes. Hopefully my camera is focusing. Can you see? how crepey and dry my under eyes look. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna use a cream. This one, I'm gonna use the RCMA 
cream. It's, you can use it as a foundation. You can use it as a contour. You can use it as a as a um, under eye concealer. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to use my fingers too, and I'm just going to get a color. And I'm just going to. I don't like to really. I like to really use my fingers when I'm doing. This color's too dark, but it doesn't matter. We're just doing this for purposes, like, you know, just demonstration purposes. So already, just from doing this, I can, I haven't even put any powder on it yet, but I can see how it's just settling into my lines. And hopefully you can see that. Stop this video if you have to, so you can really, I want you to really look at that. Now I'm going to go in and add some powder on top of that. Do you see how dry and crepey my under eye is? Do you see that? Okay, so let me take this off and then I'm going to show you the right way to apply concealer. Okay, so now we're going to apply it the correct way. For me, the key is finding the right concealer that works for under your eyes. And anything that's too thick, anything, especially in those little pots, anything that's too thick, anything that's too oily will, or drying, will just settle into my fine lines and make them look crepey and old as you saw in the beginning. This is the concealer that I like to use. This is from Lancome and this is the Effesserins concealer. Um, I believe I use light buff, but I will check. It's kind of rubbed off on here. I can't see it any longer, but I will make sure and check, but I'm pretty sure the color that I use is light buff. One thing you have to remember with this is when you are applying this concealer or whatever concealer that you find works for your your under eyes which it took me a while i tried so many i tried some from the drugstore i tried the rewind it didn't work for me is how you are applying it that's the key you don't want to take it and put it all over under your eyes you really only want to put it where you need it which is right here where i have that little discoloration that's where i want to put it so i'm going to take a very little amount Keep that in mind when you look at the price of this. I think it might be $35. I can't remember. I know it seems like a lot. This will last me at least a year, sometimes even longer than that. So put that into consideration. So I am going to put a little amount, and I, when I say little, I mean little. Okay? And hopefully you will see that. Hopefully it will focus on my finger and not me but I am using a very, very, very small amount. Now, okay, focus there. Now I'm gonna take it and I am gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna tap it right where I want it. I didn't mean to get it right there, but right where I want it there, okay? Don't worry about that a little bit. We are gonna blend it, but the key is getting it, applying it right where you wanna put it. Then I use a beauty blender. For me, it just works better, even better than my fingers. When I use my fingers, I just feel like it gives it a texture and doesn't really blend it in well. This just works really well. So I just take my beauty blender that's dampened but not soaking wet. I use this end of it and I just start to blend it on. I just need to get my mirror so I can look closer at this. See what I'm doing? I'm just tapping it. I'm, you know, not moving around or anything like that. Now, anything that's left on my sponge, I will go over here and put a little bit there because I do have a little bit of redness right there. I just can't glop it on because it's just going to settle under my eyes. So I just go in there and make sure that I get it on there really good. And then sometimes I will take this too. And this is from It Cosmetics. This is the number seven Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. I just use this end, I will very, I mean, I barely even touch it. I will very lightly just kind of go right over it, just to make sure nothing settles into my lines. I have cat hair on me, gross. Okay, then I do not powder. If I powder this, I will age myself. So I have to leave it alone. 
This concealer works really good for me because it doesn't get greasy, it doesn't get dry, it just sits on my skin beautifully. So you can see how well it covered with both my eyes. Now I'm gonna get really close because I want you to see the difference. Now that you saw the other, I want you to see the difference. Can you see? See how it doesn't look and I'll even smile. See? So it didn't settle into my lines. It doesn't make my lines look crepey. So let me put the rest of my makeup on and I will be right back. That is it. I know my hair is crazy. Um, that is it. That is how I conceal under eyes. It's really about the technique. I love the Effesserins concealer. Would definitely recommend this, but you don't have to use this. Just find one that works for you. This one is a perfect consistency for me. Please make sure that you share this video. I know that this would be helpful to so many of us mature ladies that are looking for help under eyes. I could have used this a couple years ago, but I was trying different ones and then I finally found the right way to apply it and also the right concealer to use. So please make sure you share this. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment. I always comment back to you and be good to each other, be kind, and I will see you guys real, real soon. Bye.